guys. How y'all doing today? I've been sitting back lately and taking things in, just getting a, a broad view of things. And um, today I don't want to get into the um, negative stuff that's going on in the world. As I've been thinking about the effects of all this and how it's impacting people, you, my brothers and sisters, for example, and um, I just want y'all to know you don't need to fear anything. Um, nothing. God has this. When he decides to remove us, we'll be on his timing. Keep looking, keep watching. Um, how much of this we're going to go through, like in the beginning, leading up to the tribulation I don't know um, we're seeing signs of it all over and um, but don't worry don't fear you're a child of God and he's not giving you the spirit of fear that's not to say the flesh won't be weak because even Jesus before his crucifixion when he was praying in the garden his flesh you know was really burdened he 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 sweat blood he was sweating profusely and uh he said the spirit's willing but the flesh is weak and I know when I start getting stressed out a little bit I know it's in the flesh because as soon as I go and just connect with the spirit in me and, and think of God and all, there's no worry there. And you need to let that be what, what leads your life, the spirit. Let that overcome the flesh. This is just a training ground. This is, this is just like the Bible says, it's a vapor. You know, it's here today, gone tomorrow. And, uh, we have, eternity ahead of us so there's no need to fear actually as we see all these things we ought to rejoice in, the, in our spirit because we know the time is coming it's close and it's very close <laughs> And we'll be with, we'll be with Jesus. So remember that as you see events happening, you see things on the news. Um, a lot of this is deception, and it doesn't matter if um, it's legitimate anger and war breaking out between countries, or it's a a plot they've made amongst themselves to make it look that way, just to. Um, get rid of a lot of the population it, it, it don't matter to uh, the effects on us the regular people is going to be the same whether it's um all contrived or it's real and they're really angry i mean the effects are going to be the same um they don't have our best interests at heart and don't put your faith in in a human they're starting to prop up heroes right now our hero is in heaven. Our hero is right here inside of us. And uh, we have no place for human heroes in our heart. Man cannot be trusted. Only Jesus 
than those who have the Holy Spirit in them. And you can tell who they are by their fruit. Um, there's a lot of people that said the sinner's prayer, like, okay, you know, it's a CYA. And then they zip on back down to the bar. They never meant it in their heart. But there's people that'll tell them, nope, you're good. As soon as you said that, you're saved and sealed right there. You can go, I, not personally, I don't believe that. Uh, I believe it's true if you meant it and you actually change. It, it, it's true. That's the point. You were changed and sealed. Yeah. But if you say that and you don't mean it, you're not sealed because you're going to, there's going to be a change. There's going to be a change in your life. If you meant it, you're going to start growing and you're going to produce fruit, whether you like it or not. And, um, but you got to mean it. If you mean it, you are sealed right then and there, but you got to mean it. It's got to be sincere. Can't just be something, you know, you read off a piece of paper and say, okay, that's taken care of. What's next? Let's go, you know, it's not in your heart. Another thing I want to talk about is people that are depressed and have, uh, you know, issues in their mind that, that trouble them. Um, whether it be depression or anxiety, uh, OCD, um, whether you might be bipolar, look, with the mind, it isn't like the body. The body can be damaged and heal completely on its own, or it can be damaged and not heal. But with the mind, if you let the Holy Spirit and Jesus take control and you trust in the words of Jesus, you could overcome a lot of things you didn't know you could overcome. You know, depression, for example. Look, look at um, in your depressed state, if, if this applies to you, look at the um, positive things that are there that, that you don't have, but you know you're aware of. You're aware of them. You're aware that there's people happy. So, you know, you know it's like, why can't I be like those people? Well, look at that. Look at the happiness that's there available. It's um, carefree, lighthearted, just no burdens on you. Um, the spirit of God and, and the joy of life and the joy of the life that's to come, which is eternity in heaven. Think about all these things. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. This world is run by Satan. He puts burdens on you. If you let him, he'll depress you. But see, you're only one flip of a switch away from casting that off. That's a burden and a trap the devil has set upon you. And it's an illusion, but it seems like reality to you. It's not the truth. Truth is with God. Truth is with Jesus and the Holy Spirit. That's what truth is. They try to make you think in the world today, there is no truth. Truth is relevant to the individual and, and all this stuff. No, Jesus is truth. 
He's the way, the truth, and the life. And once you accept that and you realize that's the truth, I don't know what happened there, and you realize that's the truth, um, you have nothing to worry about. Jesus overcomes all of that. And you got to let him do it in your own mind. Let go of these things that are burdening you, depressing you. And uh, you will overcome. We are overcomers. And I know it seems <clears throat> easier said than done, but really it's not. Just jump in. Just jump completely in. Trust in Jesus, cast it off, and say, these things aren't going to bother me anymore. I'm going to live. It's my choice to live in the Spirit and be happy, and that's not going to be robbed from me. And the devil can't overcome that. The only thing he can do to you mentally is what you let him do. Uh, same thing with OCD. Um, people feel like they need to count, um, set things a certain way, shut the door a certain number of times, um, run through the mind certain thoughts, and it's a number of times, and some numbers are good luck, some numbers are bad luck. <clears throat> and um, that's all an illusion. These are fiery darts from the enemy. They, um, and they'll get you in a, a never ending circle. And what you got to realize is that's another illusion, a trap the devil has set. Um, You can cast all that to the side. You might think, well, I got to do this a certain number of times because thought entered my head, which was the dart from the enemy. Uh, and if I ignore this, it's like I'm saying I don't care or uh, or it means I'm this type of person or uh, by ignoring it, I'm like saying I don't care and, and, and it's admitting that I'm a bad person or, or whatever. And, and it's, they, they have the, you know, you get these negative thoughts, obsessive compulsive disorder. <clears throat> and you feel like to cope with them, you got to do, you got to do rituals. And it's always got to end on a perfectly good note somehow. And, um, you can cast all that out. It's simple. It's one word, ignore. Actually, two, ignore, forget. Um, if you ignore it, you eventually forget it. And you keep letting yourself be, I mean, once you let this stuff go, get up and walk across the room into the next part of the house. I mean, you feel like you're a thousand pounds lighter. I know because I've, I, I, I deal with OCD. If you hadn't guessed, I, I deal with that. And, uh, I know about the, you know, the shutting the doors or trying to think things through a certain number of times until it feels like satisfactory to me. That's, that's garbage because I know the truth. These are darts from the enemy. And it, and if you let if you let him, he'll imprison you in that. He'll rob you of your joy that you have in this world that you can have through Jesus Christ. But see, Jesus is greater than him. All you do is trample those thoughts. You just flick that switch and say, garbage, ignore, forget. 
And the thought that comes after, well, oh, that, that must mean you don't care. Or you, you're like this. And, and that's what draws you back to say, oh, see, I got to do it now. No, ignore that too. That's garbage too. You know who you are. Jesus knows who you are. And you let this Holy Spirit and Jesus rule your life and overcome that garbage. Them are lies straight from the enemy. All of it. From A to Z, from the beginning of it to the end of it, all of it. And there's be times when you let that stuff go and you feel good. Then all of a sudden it'll creep back up and start nagging. You say, oh, and you feel like you got to deal with that. No, just keep ignoring it. Keep ignoring it and tell yourself the truth. Truth is, them are lies from the devil. None of that's true. I know who I am. All these negative thoughts are garbage. They mean nothing. It's like a can on the road. You just kick it out of your way and ignore it because it's nothing. Don't give it life. Don't let it take root. And if it does, rip it up by its roots and throw it to the side and get on living for Jesus and let yourself be happy because those thoughts, those thoughts are negative. They're straight from the devil. Whatever negative thought it is, it's garbage. It don't deserve the time of day. It doesn't deserve you giving it two thoughts. And you know when it happens. There's a person that has OCD at times. I know when it happens. I know that that's OCD. And what is OCD and depression and all this stuff? All that's from the enemy. All of it. Bipolar people. Now, I don't have this, but I know people that have it. You got your highs, your ups. You're on top of the world, and then you just come crashing down, and you feel like the lowest. And they're like manic depressives. And it's like, you got to let, you got to let the spirit control you. You got to let, you got to let Jesus do this. And you can recognize when it's happening to you. You can see when you're when you're feeling super, super great and high, and you know that crash has come. You, you got to level that out. And once again, easier said than done. And I'm not saying don't take medications. Medications can help you. But the main thing is understanding it first, and letting the spirit control it. Um, especially on the lows, when you come diving down, it's like, I was just filling up here. Why am I down here? And realize that's the enemy. That's the enemy. Your emotions, you can control your emotions. You have that ability. And especially with, with, with the Holy Spirit in you, there's nothing you can't do. This world is not reality. Reality is what Jesus says it is, and it's in his word. That's reality. It's it, reality and truth is not relative. It's only relative to what Jesus says it is. And what he says it is, it is. So if there's no depression, and OCD and bipolar and the reality, the true reality, which is in Jesus, then it shouldn't be in you because that's where you attain to be. You live in the spirit. You live through the spirit, not through the physical, not through the realm here on earth of the devil. That, that's his reality, which is distorted and lies and deception. He can only do what you let him. So if you're feeling down, trust in Jesus and realize, I don't need to feel like this. I can feel happy. And, 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 and 
whatever thoughts make you happy and, and bring you that are godly and 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 spirit filled, focus in on that and let that bring you bring you to that point where you need to be. As Jesus conquers Satan, Satan is no is nothing to Jesus. It's nothing to the Holy Spirit. He can squash Satan like a bug. And that bug is what you're you're letting shoot these darts at you and make you feel less than and this and that and other. You know who you are. You're a child of God. So be happy. Let yourself be happy. Don't let the devil imprison you. Let the Holy Spirit free you. All those worries, why, why carry all this extra burden on you? Jesus didn't put that on you. He, 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 he gave you what to carry. His yoke is light. Anything on you that burdens you is heavy, that's from the enemy. That's from this world. That's the stuff you can cast off in a split second. With the, It's like a flick of a switch. Be gone. You have no power over me. And you have power to cast it off like that. Because he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. And before I finish this, I, I, I want to read, y'all have read this, I'm sure, a thousand times. But really think about it. Think about it, all these words closely, and, and let them impact you. It's the whole armor of God. Now, 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 think about it. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. So you've got that power. Devil can't beat that. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. That's what's all around us. We don't even see it, but we know it's there. It impacts us if we let it. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and have done all to stand and having done all to stand stand therefore having girded your waist with truth that's the truth of jesus and the spirit no lies he don't put a big burden on you his truth is righteous cheerful and easy it makes you feel good there is truth it's not relative there's only the truth of jesus Having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Stay in the Bible. And the gospel is peace. And that's what you want to feel is peace. And peace brings happiness. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Not some, all. All. And above all, taking the shield of faith. So of all the armor, of all the things you've got at hand that you can use, the shield of faith is the best. It's the strongest. You believe in Jesus, you're in him and he's in you. You deflect all his darts, all the negative thoughts, all the negative emotions, all the depression, all the ups and downs. You deflect all his little his garbage. Don't give it life. It ain't worth the time of day. You deflect all that stuff and you go on in righteousness with Jesus Christ, enjoying your life that he has given you and preaching his gospel. 
and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. That's it. When you speak the word of God against Satan, that's the sword and it slices him to pieces. You can do that in many ways through prayer, outright rebuking him in the name of Jesus and, and demanding him to be gone. Tell him he has no hold over you. You're a child of God. You do this enough, he eventually leaves you alone because he realizes he's wasting his time. Um, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints and for me, that utterance may be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly and make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. So that's the whole nine yards right there. Um, and I tell you what, right now I, I can feel, uh, uh, by just by what I've told y'all, I, I, I'm, I'm feeling, a, uh, a, a, an attack right now. I am, I'm feeling an attack. But I'm not giving it life. See, there's certain things when you're over the target, you become a target. And that is, uh, I don't think I've ever had that happen on camera before. Yeah, that, that. A negative attack tried to come on me right there. Wow. And man, I feel good because I just shunned it. I've ignored it. I mean, it was there. I felt it. Some tingling here, goosebumps, but I've shunned it. I'm going to continue to shun it. And it will go away. It will go away. There's no room for negativity. There's no room for negative thoughts. And uh, and I'm not going to allow it. And I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ. So that that's uh that was something right there. Yeah, I felt it building as I was reading near the end, and afterwards it just. I can't explain it. Y'all, y'all probably know what I'm talking about. It, it, it came upon me. It was like an attack. But anyway, I hope that's helped some of y'all and encouraged you. Um, things like that have always encouraged me when I heard things like that, and somebody put it in certain ways, and and reading the gospel, and uh. It's always helped, and I, and I hope this did help some of you out there that struggle with these things. You know, my brothers and sisters in Christ, I love you. And uh, I know how the OCD part feels, and it's, it's no fun, and uh, I don't wish that upon anybody. It's so stupid and ridiculous, you know, habits and counting, and, you know, off and on my whole life, I've had to deal with that. You know, it'll, I've had it where it's gone away for seven years, you know, and I think of it as a thing of the past. And all of a sudden, one day it just pops back in. And I'm like, what? Next thing I'm dealing with it for a few months or a year, maybe, maybe longer. But that's only because I let it. You can cast that away immediately if you just do it. And the sooner you do it, the better. But it's never too late to do it. You can always do it. But, um, yeah, with all that's going on in the world today, 
uh, you know, the last thing you need is attacks like that from the enemy to add to it. And um, sometimes the things that you hear in the news going on bring on those type of attacks. <clears throat> they worry you, they stress you, and the devil sees on the opportunity and say, oh, now it's time to shoot. So it kind of all goes hand in hand. But don't worry about it, you know? The worse everything's looking in the world right now, the more confident and uplifted we should be. Because our redemption is drawing near. Jesus is coming to get us, guys. And his timing will be the perfect timing. We just got to hang in there and stay faithful until that time. And keep watching. Because he's close. He's close. I love you guys. I pray for you. Uh, please pray for me. And I will talk to you guys soon, okay? Bye.